back to the some primaries. We're removing some dirt, a lot of dirt. Right now it's sand. We got the excavator out here. I'm in the tractor with the gravel pup. We're moving it with dirt. We're just moving the hill, I'm trying to level it out, I guess. I'm stuck guys, he trapped me in here. If you see that, that's like a two foot difference from there to here. I can't get over it with a full trailer. Now he has to push me out of here. We made it. I feel like it's high here, but then it goes way down. This is like a little hill right here. There's the low land. We're trying to get the dirt from here into there. Hopefully that works. I have to turn here. Oh no. I don't want to get- No, 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 no. Don't- No, 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 no. I almost got stuck. I think I have to make another loop. With a full thing like this, the front tires are having a hard time turning. And I just found out why. I had the differential locks on. That never happens. I don't, I don't know why I just did that. You can see the difference between the black soil and the sand. The sand is from the hill. What can you do? It's not the best soil, because it's like basically straight sand with a little bit of clay. So you can see this is how we're doing it. We're just taking this hill out. It's gonna be full. That thing does not take very long and then it's full. This right here is the topsoil, so it's just scraped off. It's not much topsoil at all. I think there was like maybe like five inches of topsoil, six inches. I don't know what we're doing with it. I'm guessing we're gonna put it somewhere. We're trying to get all this sand and clay out. You might be wondering why we're putting all this work into it, moving all the dirt, pulling the trees down. Like why? Why would we put all this effort into this field. Well, there's a lot to that. We're trying to make this field so where we can seed into it and grow a crop, because right now it's too low to get anything really into there. So we're trying to get this dirt from this hill into there. And hopefully we'll be able to get through there with the seed drill. Definitely not this year, because the seeding season is over. I think two years from now, definitely. But you never know with what's gonna happen. Our cat broke down, out of commission for now. Hopefully it's just an easy fix. We thought it was something bigger. Now we're thinking it's something smaller. Hopefully that can get back up and running because that's how we're pushing all this dirt. That's why we're doing this, to make 80 acres out of this field. So it'd be worth it if it actually works. This trailer does not take long to fill up. It's like two scoops and it's full. And he's spilling over the sides already. Feels like a construction site. There's a road, we got the excavator, a lot of dirt. You can see this trailer has gone through its time, like the top boards. We've snapped those off, the net that usually goes over top. We broke that. It is an old trailer, and it's a small one. I don't know what that number means. Take your best guess. Oh, guys, it happened. I got stuck. I thought this tractor could do it. Everything was working so good. Up until there, I backed up a little further, and then it just sank. Like this thing just went down. Oh, I've called in the artillery. Now I got a lot of mud on the wheels. Yikes. Just look at that sunset. It's raining and it's a nice sunset. Ooh, wow. I think we're gonna quit for now though. It's around, I don't know, 9.30. It's getting pretty late, but the sun just setting now. This was a nice day for working. Ending off with a beautiful rainbow. This is how much we've done, you can see. That's quite a bit, actually. Like, you can see the walls are pretty high. So that's a lot of dirt. Oh, look, it's a double rainbow. What? Wow. So this is my project for this afternoon. Gotta wash these. 
As you can probably tell, this is a pretty good sized truck and it is very dirty, so I need to make sure I get all the fertilizer out of here because that's very important because if we put other grain or other stuff in here, we don't want any fertilizer in here. So I need to make sure I nicely clean this, then we can move to the outside. So I just finished cleaning the tractor and the truck there and now I need to clean inside the tractor cab a little bit because there's lots of mud and dirt there. Here we go. I found the old pile of rags. They're literally just pieces of old pants but you know what? This, this will work. Today was definitely the perfect day to clean and wash these things off because it is so beautiful today. Yeah, I'm just gonna clean up in here a little bit and then I will be done. Okay, so I finished that job. It's definitely not 100%. Could have done better, but basically all I needed to do was a light dusting for now, but later on it would be really nice if we could get a deeper clean. So that is all done. Looking so much better. I love clean equipment and now I can drive it clean instead of dirty around so that is always so much nicer so if you want to see more behind the scenes you can head over to our instagram page the next gen farmer and yeah follow us along and see more content <music> Oh yes, 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 yes. I need a cloth to clean the tractor crap. The tractor cab with. Hey boy, my English is not working today. <laughs> <laughs>